the cicada, a nearly extinct design that has seen more than its fair share of abuse over the years. It is generally used as a disposable mech that has little value outside of the situations where it is simply the only option available or used to replace lost light mechs. The fact that the initial production run of the mech suffered from a myriad of problems such as faulty heat sinks and misaligned actuators did not help its reputation. The odd double knee joint legs double the amount of leg maintenance time needed during downtime. Having the armament on par with some of the smallest mechs, yet possessing double the mass and equivalent speed, the Cicada has never quite carved out much of a niche for itself, beyond being a cheap alternative to other designs. The Cicada stands a modest 9 meters tall, weighs in at around 40 tons, putting it in the medium weight class, and has a basic triple laser armament. The lack of an ammunition requirement has added to the longevity of the design and allows it to stay in the field as long as its reactor has fuel to power the machine. In its stock loadout, the 2A, the Cicada features a pair of medium grade lasers on its wing-like arms, giving it a mid-range attack ability. A single low-powered laser is placed on the center torso, giving the mech a close-range attack. This humble loadout is light enough not to put too much pressure on its 10 heat sinks, enabling it to fire freely in most conditions. The Cicada 2B is a simple field modification, swapping out the small laser for a flamer, allowing it to support allies by overheating enemy mechs and burning foliage to slow the advance of enemy forces. The 3C variant is surprisingly unique among mechs in that it mounts weaponry on its legs machine guns to be specific. These machine guns replace the lasers. A particle cannon fitted to the right torso packs a devastating punch at mid to long ranges, though suffers from splash damage that can harm the cicada at very close ranges. For this reason, most of these mechs have field inhibitors to prevent problems, though daring pilots can disable this. Due to the lackluster nature of the mech's default loadout, this is one of the most commonly customized mechs. In the 31st century, it is rare to find two cicadas with the same setup. The mech is often seen defending poor worlds or working in the service of mercenary units that cannot afford anything better. Every major house in the Inner Sphere has a number of cicadas in their armies. The exact numbers vary, but it is not designed that many choose to boast about using. And that was the cicada. I am Ian, and I hope you enjoyed this entry of Mech Lab.